Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to take a look at the Daytona Hobby 50cc. A little 50cc four-speed motorcycle from Daytona that's aimed at the entry level, the 16-year-old. It's basically a little miniature motorcycle. And when I say little, I do mean little. I mean seriously. A small motorcycle take a look at this thing it's the top of the motorcycle is below my waist the seat is almost knee high now it does say it has a 770 millimeter seat height which yeah it's you're gonna reach the ground the seat is low and the bike is narrow but it's just so small it's freaking awesome because from headlight to taillight it's this big honestly but we're gonna take a look at it from front wheel to back wheel and uh, see exactly what's what with this miniature little motorcycle all right I don't think I can get low enough or any lower than this but coming around to the front we have a front 12 inch rim with a 120 by 70 by 12 tire we have a 220 millimeter brake disc, no ABS or stuff like that. A dual piston caliper, which is nice to see on this little motorcycle. And amazingly, an upside down fork. I don't know why it needs an upside down fork, but it has it. We do have a halogen light, high and low beam, both halogen. Turn signal indicators, which are LED. Our normal handbar, our normal dash. We can see right here the puny little 50cc engine that I can basically grab in my hand. Very accessible, very easy to service. We do have a clutch right here, a brake lever right there for the rear brake. It looks exactly like a motorcycle, only it's just very, very small. I mean, I can touch the front wheel and the top of the engine. If I extend enough, I can touch the muffler. Up here we have a fuel tank, an 11 liter fuel tank, which is a lot for something like this. Honestly, I don't know the range of it, but it should drink about 2 liters per 100 kilometers. And an 11 liter fuel tank should give you about 500 kilometers of range. Which is, uh, I don't know why, would you, why you would want 500 kilometers of range on something like this, but it has it. Moving around to the back, we have a 190 millimeter brake disc with a single piston caliper. We have an LED rear light and LED turn signal indicators. The rear wheel is also 12 inches, 120 by 70 by 12. So it basically has a square stance, the same size of tire both on the front and on the rear. We have our exhaust right here. What is a bit amazing is we have passenger foot pegs. Now, if you look closely at the seat, you're supposed to sit right here so the passenger gets about 15 centimeters of seat yeah your passenger better be really really skinny really skinny in terms of dash layout we have amazingly a normal motorcycle dash with a normal handlebar we have our hazard lights right here we have our power switch right here we have on the right hand side our turn signal indicators we have our horn we have our high and low beam we do have our mirrors pretty nice little mirrors and uh, right here on the dash we had a couple of idiot lights and uh, let's see if you can see we do have a check engine light the headlight light our uh, rev counter our speed and uh, we also do have a gear position indicator. Let's see if I can get it in the first gear. Nope. Yes, there it is. We do have a gear position indicator. All normal stuff. We have a clock. We have our total kilometer, our, our odometer. We have, I think, yes, we do have a trip meter. It's all normal motorcycle stuff. Except in a very very tiny little package but honestly there's not a lot to say about this little thing it's just a 50cc motorcycle with a four-speed transmission that weighs 
very little at 107 kilograms and uh, it's very very small and to be honest amazingly somehow I fit on it it's stupidly small but I actually fit on it the handlebars are in a nice position the cutout for the tank fits my leg perfectly somehow I fit on it and uh, we do have an electric start see the little 50 cc engine coming to life but in case you do not want to use the electric start you can go old school and just give it a nice little kick so let's take it out for a ride <laughs> Riding the little hobby 50 now. It's very clear Basically the Chinese copied the, the Honda Grom or the Honda monkey but uh, What I actually like about it is the fact that considering a Honda monkey is almost 5,000 euros and the Grom is Four and a bit thousand. That's a huge amount of money for basically what is a little miniature motorcycle that you either buy for your, I don't know, 12 year old to ride around the farm or uh, you buy for yourself as a joke, as something funny as your fifth, your sixth motorcycle, something funny you ride around the city just for giggles. So at those prices, I think those are expensive, but this 50cc coming in at about 2,000 euros and the 125 cc is just about I don't know three or four hundred euros more a Less than two and a half grand for a little miniature motorcycle now That's how it's done. You have a miniature motorcycle and a miniature little price. I Don't want a big ass 5,000 euro price tag for what is basically a little toy if you're an adult, this is a little toy because although it may be small, you're not going to fit through traffic better than you, you can with a scooter because you still have the handlebars and the mirrors. Let's be honest. It's as wide as it has to be because you can't ride it with your... because you can't ride it like with your hands right here. You can't ride it with a handlebar this wide. So you need... Come on, give me a gear. <laughs> the little 50 cc engine it's a funny little thing sure it's not fast because this little 50 cc wimp has about two and a half horsepower and about two newton meters of torque but it is fun and being so small so light it has completely diff different sensations than a normal motorcycle because you have the small 12 inch wheels but you sit on it just like you would on a normal motorcycle so it's extremely flickable and when I say extremely flickable I really mean extremely flickable now I would love to try out the 125 cc actually you know what drop a comment down below should at some point should I buy a 125 cc little hobby just for giggles and uh, I don't know road trip it maybe luggage would be a bit of a pain with this one I don't know how I could fit some luggage on it but uh, yeah it could be an interesting proposition to road trip something like this come on four speed gearbox 36 kilometers an hour 38 <laughs> <laughs> oh, this little 50cc wimp. But you know, for a, I don't know, a 12 year old or a 13 year old, this would be a perfect learning motorcycle because you have a clutch, you have a gear shift, you have a rear brake, a front brake, although the brakes may be, yeah, the front brake is really mushy. The rear brake is, oh yeah, the rear brake is there. The front one is a little bit mushy. I would have liked a little bit more lever fear. And uh, even though it's just a 50cc, the gearbox is actually a little bit difficult to ride smoothly. 
it just I don't know it just bangs through gears the clutch has basically has a, an on-off switch I mean let's take a look down to first gear <clears throat> actually let's get in front of the other camera so you can see what I'm talking about it has a really weird gearbox actually a really weird clutch there's basically almost no biting point to it so let's put it here let's go to neutral find neutral are we in neutral yes we're in neutral so we're in neutral i'm gonna pull in the clutch all the way and go for sec for first gear i'm gonna go for first gear you see did you see it lurch again let's try to find neutral uh, we weren't in neutral It's kind of weird, the gearbox being so small and tiny and the clutch plates being like very, very small. It's really weird to operate. But again, first gear, it lurches for like, I don't know, some kind of huge motorcycle. And when you want to set off, you got to rev it because it's a 50cc. And that's kind of it. The clutch is basically an on-off switch, so you better get ready when you want to set off, it's gonna set off. Even though it just has two horsepower, it's gonna set off. But that's the small caveat of having a, such a small little engine and trying to put a four-speed gearbox on it. I'm pretty sure the 125cc is a lot better at being able to ride smoothly. This little 50cc is really weird, but also really, really fun because it's so small and so tiny. <laughs> Whee! Hard on the brakes, down the gears. Too many gears, come on. You're basically changing gears constantly, at least here in the yard. I'm changing gears absolutely constantly. We're in fourth gear doing 29 kilometers an hour and we're coming into a bend down to third gear. 4,000 RPM should be enough. Sh I shouldn't have to go for second. I didn't. And let's open the taps. Full throttle. Bang. Fourth gear. 37. 38. Come on. 39. 40. I got 40. 41. 42. Hard on the brakes. <laughs> Yeah, you could easily give this thing to a little kid and he's gonna have a proper blast. I mean, it's moving with my 100 kilogram ass on it. A little kid that weighs like 30 kilograms? Sure, why not? And he's gonna learn motorcycling. He's gonna learn clutch control. He's gonna learn to use his hands and feet for braking. His, his left foot for changing gears. His right hand for his left hand for operating the clutch and with this difficult clutch he's gonna learn some proper clutch control i mean i don't know if i can properly set off with this thing smoothly let's give it another try okay so i want to smoothly set off come on biting point yeah you it has like this much travel for finesse so yeah, if you put a little kid on this thing and he starts riding it properly, he's gonna learn some proper clutch control with this thing. Which I guess could be the point of it. I mean, it may be a good thing that it has a difficult clutch because you could actually learn on it. I know there are two hobbies we sold about two years ago to to riding schools here and they use it to, to teach people the first notions of clutch control and I can I can see why if you learn how to use this clutch you're gonna learn how to use you're gonna be an expert at using motorcycle clutches to be honest such a fun little machine oh this would be just awesome through the city but in 125 cc form come on I have a motorcycle riding license I can ride a normal size motorcycle i don't need this oh we're already in fourth gear <laughs> 40 kilometers an hour in fourth gear we're turning 7000 rpm at 40 kilometers an hour let me just take you through the gearbox a little bit so down to first and let's set off 
one finger clutch and 12 change to second 22 kilometers change to third and 30 kilometers change to fourth so basically every 10 kilometers an hour you change the gear oh we need to get down to third so if you're riding at 40 kilometers an hour and drop to 25 you kind of need to change down to third if you drop to 19 you kind of need to change down to second and now back to third and back up to fourth and uh, we're gonna slow down for this pothole and down to second take the pothole and then back up to third back up to fourth and an intersection we're gonna slow down again <sighs> back down to give me a gear back down to second again third take the corner again fourth you get the idea i'm changing gears a lot uh, break again down to second take the corner full throttle out up to third up to fourth uh, i'm basically oscillating between 20 kilometers an hour and 30 kilometers an hour and i have to go between second third and fourth gear all the bloody time but it's fun it's fun it's bloody fun <laughs> oh weirdly fun little machine weirdly fun i would love one of these in 125cc form it has such idiotic ergonomics and yet somehow i fit on it how the bloody hell do i fit on something that's smaller than or lower than my waist i have no idea but yeah if you want a fun little machine for yourself to ride to ride for giggles then uh yeah get a 125cc variant if you have like a 12 year old or 13 year old and you have some land where he can ride the damn thing without having to care for legislation so not on the public roads because i doubt there are places where you can ride 50 cc's at 12 years old on public roads yeah oh we're in neutral it's kind of idiotic the gearbox sometimes between first and second sometimes you get false neutrals but that may be because it's small or it's brand new by the way again you're gonna get used to false neutrals you're gonna get the kid used to false neutrals <laughs> so yeah if you have a place where you can give your kid this bike to ride definitely get him something like this because he's gonna learn motorcycling and by the time he's 16 years old and he can get an a1 license oh he's gonna know how to properly ride he's gonna be expert level riding What a fun little machine. <laughs> Weirdly fun, stupidly fun, but fun nonetheless. But that, that has been all. But that has been all for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and get early access to videos like this, please consider becoming a member. If not, thank you for liking, th thank you for sharing the videos, thank you for subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care out there, everyone. And ride safe. Goodbye.